know, each week we line up a rogues gallery of inventions that never quite lived up to their early promise. Be prepared. Here comes the curse of tomorrow's world. Good evening and welcome to our darkened studio. Dark so that we can be switched on to the very latest in fashion. Sparkly, isn't it? The key to all-weather smartness, permanent shaped clothes made by a unique baking process. They can be washed, dried anyhow and worn again without needing even a slight touch from the iron. And finally, the latest idea from California. What is it? Well, it's an electronic antiperspirant, of course. And each bit has been designed to fit the different parts of the body. And it's claimed that eight half-hour sessions with it will stop you sweating for up to six weeks. It's rather in the knee. Now, about watches. I'm a shock of a timekeeping, but now they've given me a wristwatch that never needs winding up. The back of it is worn by my wrist, converting heat into electricity. OK, are you ready for this? Take a look at these. Oh, goodness, look at all those micro-amps I'm generating. Mm. Oh, think what you could do if these things were stuck all over you. Here we have what the French manufacturers call an educative toothbrush. Now I can see you. Now I can't. Designed, they say, to teach us how to clean our teeth. And it's all done by music. Yes, they are indeed sideways looking glasses. A tune, in this case a phrase from Love Story, is repeated over and over again for at least a minute and a half. Stupid? Well, yes, as glasses go, they're about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Centrally heated socks. A ready knotted tie with a zip along the loop. This represents a giant leap forward in the technology of the pith helmet. It's a personal radio which soaks up the sun while I do. It's a uh, solar powered to provide a cooling breeze that passes over the fevered brow. I just knew it. There had to be a snag. If you're in the cloudy monsoon season... No sun, no music. There you are, you see. I bet you didn't remember Kenneth Williams trying his hand at tomorrow's world. Now, back in 1984, we ran a story about the quest for the perfect baked bean, one that's full of...